Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. All right, Taurus, here's what's happening. Here is what's happening. Interesting story. Let's just pull all these cards down so everyone can see it. My space is limited, so, you know, bear with me here. So, I don't take myself too seriously, and I just want to throw cards, so bear with me. So, the star, okay? This is the first card out the box. It talks about your path, your purpose, and the renewal of your life. To the three of wands, having some foresight, right? The renewal of your life, your path and your purpose is right in front of you. They need you to begin to prepare for this. How do you prepare for this? How do you prepare to step into your path and your purpose? Well, the Prince of Pentacles in reverse. This particular Taurus is stuck, okay? Stuck in the Eight of Cups in reverse. The Eight of Cups in reverse is someone who knows what they're investing in emotionally is never going to make a return for them. This particular Taurus is stuck in the quagmire of emotional disappointment. Okay. Eight of wands comes on top of this and says, it's time for movement. It's time for movement, action, and change. It's time to flip the eight of cups in the upright and step away from the emotional disappointment that you have been entrenched in for way too long. It's time for movement, action, change in your life to the fool. There's a new beginning. There's a new journey. Whatever has kept you stuck in the quagmire of emotional disappointment is old news. It's old news. There's a new beginning. There's a new journey. They need you to level up in your spirituality so the path and the purpose can be unfolded before you, Taurus. The emperor to the lovers, because this is what's coming towards you. This is what's coming towards you. You need to align yourself with universal order so the frequency of this person can find your frequency because right now your frequency is hidden behind emotional disappointment, right? It's dampening your, it's dampening your frequency. This lover's emperor situation right here can't find you because you are entrenched in some kind of sadness deep, deep inside of your subconscious mind. The fool says there's a better way. There's a new way. It's the way and the path and the purpose of your life. The fool in reverse says don't waste your life. Don't waste your life lamenting about something that shoulda, coulda, woulda, when in fact it probably wasn't universally orchestrated into your life anyway. It's probably something that you wanted to create in your life that didn't work out for you and now you're all disgruntled about it. It's foolishness. You're wasting the path. The fool is here three times, mind you. You are wasting your time. You're wasting your beautiful experience in this human life, lamenting about something that didn't work out for you. And it's foolishness. Look, the nine of swords, anxiety, despair, crying over spilt milk, the king of swords in reverse to the emperor in reverse and the five of cups, loss, regret, despair, and disappointment over someone that was potentially abusive, someone who was out of control of themselves, someone who didn't know their own self-worth, so they consumed their self-worth from you. You are lamenting about a situation in your life that was just shit to begin with. The Six of Pentacles, the giving and the receiving and the sharing of the prosperity of life, that's what the universe wants to bring into you, Spirit, Spirit Taurus. That's what the universe wants for you. They want to put you in a position where you are happy 
and well cared for to the three of cups joy celebration beautiful emotional exchange to the high priestess the high priestess is your soul trying to talk to you possibly through this reading trying to get you to understand that there is a better way that you're being foolish about lamenting about something that wasn't in your best and highest good to start with mm -hmm. the high priestess is lesson two it is your ancient soul trying to lead you and guide you and show you the very best direction for your life so you can get the most out of this human experience that you came here to get right? Your, your flesh and bone understanding of life is holding on to the grief and the sorrow and the pain. Your soul needs you to release that so you can move into your path and your purpose. To the world, the closure of the old cycle and the beginning of the new cycle. To the sun, a cycle of your life, a chapter of your life that is filled with happiness, success, and vitality. To the four of wands, and peace, and comfort, and long-term stable stability. That's what's coming into your life to the Ace of Pentacles in the center of your reading, new ground, sowing seeds on new ground, mm -hmm. not throwing seeds on the old, broken, dry, and barren ground of what you, sh what you think should have been in your life. No, 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 no. The universe has something so much better in store for you to the Nine of Wands in reverse, but there's Taurus, right? All, all given up depleted and giving up and these cards are saying absolutely not this is not your path this is not your purpose your path and your purpose is understanding that you have the power to manifest any kind of reality that you want to for yourself why would you continuously manifest disgruntled feelings why would you continue to give power to the past when you have such a beautiful, beautiful future ahead of you? The moon in reverse. Moon in reverse says come to terms. Come to terms with what? Come to terms with that which you know to be true inside of yourself and that which you just simply don't want to accept is the truth. What you know inside of yourself is that you're better off outside of that old situation. What you don't want to come to terms with is that that's what you wanted. You wanted it to work. You wanted it to make. You wanted it to be your life. And it's not your life. And now you're lamenting in the Nine of Swords. The moon says, come to terms with this big internal struggle to the Two of Cups and the King of Wands. So you can enter into the new chapter of your life, the new phase of your life in some kind of unified relationship, some kind of very successful unified relationship. The Ace of Wands in reverse, but the Taurus doesn't want it. They're not interested in it. They want to stay in that nine of swords and the, the prince of pentacles in reverse and the eight of cups in reverse. That's where Taurus wants to stay. The universe is like, no, man, we got bigger fish to fry. We have bigger things to do. The five of swords, the win at all costs mentality though, right? White knuckle grip, win at all cost mentality. I want what I want, what I want, and that's the way that I want it, and I'm not willing to give anything else a try because that didn't work out, and, and I'm just going to stay in a place of being disgruntled because it wasn't my choice for the situation to change. That's a problem. Two of Wands, it's a problem for your future. Prince of Cups in reverse, sitting in fragmented emotions in your life. No forward progression to the Page of Cups. They need you to have some emotional growth here, Taurus. They need you to understand that wasn't what that what they need you to understand that some things are not meant to be, no matter how much you wanted them to be. 
Seven of Swords break free from a futile mentality of the Ace of Cups in reverse of hurt emotions, hurt feelings, downtrodden feelings, repressed emotions. Seven of Cups, seven, seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles says take a step back and reflect and assess on how you're going about doing things in your life, Taurus. Temperance, temper yourself, find peace in the journey to the fool. There is something new. There is something better to the Queen of Wands. Uh-huh. Queen of Wands to the King of Wands. There's something new. There's something better. There's something way more successful than what it is that you're lamenting about. Two of Wands in reverse, but you can't find it if you're not focusing on it. If you're focusing on the shoulda, coulda, wouldas of the past, you're not in the present, and therefore you can't manifest your future. Prince of Wands in reverse, a lack of effort, a lack of enthusiasm for the future because you're crying about what didn't happen in the past. To the Wheel of Fortune, the divinely orchestrated steps of your life. The universe rolling out before you, the beautiful, beautiful future that is just sitting there waiting for you to grab a hold of it. The Princess of Pentacles, there's new ground to sow your seeds on. There's new opportunities. There's new, new, new to the world again. The closure of the old cycle and the beginning of the new cycle. This world card says that you have all the tools that you need to step into your future, Taurus. Eight of Pentacles. Work on yourself. Work this out. Understand that your effort will change the destiny of your life. To the Eight of Wands. Changing the destiny of your life. New path. New purpose. New direction. The Two of Cups in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Broken relationships. Eight of Swords, a new perspective. Ace of Swords in reverse because you're not seeing clearly. Five of Cups in reverse that you need to move on from the loss, the regret, the despair, and the disappointment to the Princess of Wands in reverse. And your lack of effort does nothing but perpetuate the foolishness of spending your time in a place of anxiety, being stuck in, in, in an emotional septic tank. Yes, movement, action, change, brand new beginning, brand new journey. That's what these cards are about. Your path, your purpose, see the forest through the trees. It's all right there. A great deal of success for you a new relationship for a lot of you. It's all just waiting right there for you, Taurus. But you have to focus on the present and stop focusing on the past. Depression is people who focus on the past. There is not one thing, not one iota of anything that you can do to change the past. But what you can do is be present in your current moment so you can focus on growing your future. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. People who are stuck in the past are depressed. People who are stricken with anxiety are trying to control the future. And people who are at peace simply accept the situation as it is and are present in the moment as it happens. Knowing with complete peace that they can do nothing except the current moment. There you go, Taurus. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. 
You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never ending. You have a purpose. This life experience has meaning and you are important. Your journey on this planet in this lifetime is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.